In geometry, some words such as point, line, and plane are undefined. You can use undefined terms to build definitions of all other figures in geometry. Although you cannot define undefined terms, you need to have an understanding of their meanings. Take note, key concept, undefined terms. We'll see the term's description on the left, how to name it in the middle, and finally a diagram on the right. First, term description, a point, indicates a location and has no size. How to name it? You can represent a point by a dot and name it by a capital letter, such as A. And a diagram? Here we see the point A labeled with the capital A. Next, term description, a line is represented by a straight path that extends in two opposite directions without end and has no thickness. A line contains infinitely many points. How to name it? You can name a line by any two points on the line, such as AB with this line symbol over the top. We read that as line AB, or BA with the same line symbol over the top, red line BA, or by a single lowercase letter, often written in script or cursive, such as line L. A diagram? Here we see line AB, which could also be referred to as line BA, and could be referred to as line L. Finally, term description, a plane is represented by a flat surface that extends without end and has no thickness. A plane contains infinitely many lines. How to name it? You can name a plane by a capital letter, such as plane P, or by at least three points in the plane that do not all lie on the same line, such as plane ABC. And a diagram? Here we see the plane ABC, which we could also call plane BAC, plane CBA, or any combination of those three non-collinear points. We can see it's also labeled plane P. Points that lie on the same line are collinear points. Points and lines that lie in the same plane are coplanar. All the points of a line are coplanar. In the diagram, points A, B, and C are collinear. Points A, B, C, and D are coplanar. Point E is not coplanar. Notice how it sits in space, not in the plane. But it is not coplanar with the points A, B, C, and D. Here we see the diagram from three different perspectives. Problem one, naming points, lines, and planes. Use the diagram. What are two other ways to name line QT? Well, two other ways to name line QT are line TQ and also line M. Note the lowercase script letter M. Part B, what are two other ways to name plane P? Well, two other ways to name plane P are plane R, Q, V, three points in the plane, and plane R, S, V, a different collection of three points in the plane. Part C. What are the names of three collinear points? What are the names of four coplanar points? Well, considering the diagram, we can see that points R, Q, and S are collinear, Note they're all in line L. We can also see that points R, Q, S, and V are coplanar, all being in plane P. Your turn, part A. What are two other ways to name line RS? Part B. Besides plane R, Q, V and plane R, S, V, what are other ways to name plane P? Select all that apply. Part C. Besides points R, Q, and S, what are the names of three other collinear points? Part D. What are two points that are not
coplanar with points R, S, and V.